Hello, this is Atari Living Sacrifice playing the new King's Quest for the first time. And I'll be honest, I'm kind of uh, a little nervous about playing this in front of everybody. I'm, I don't know how good I'm going to be at, at uh, a game like this. The old one, you know, the, there was no way I would have been able to solve half of those. I, you know, I played it a little bit as a kid and got stuck on the, like, the first or second you know, puzzle, so, uh, I don't, there's no way I would have been able to play those without, without, um, you know, walkthroughs, so back then, there were no walkthroughs, you know, if you didn't know how to solve it, oh well, you never finished the game, so let's, let's get started on it, and let's see how we do, if you, uh, if you enjoy things like this, definitely subscribe, Give it a big thumbs up, because we will be doing lots of things like this in the Let's Try series. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard right now. I could switch to a controller. We'll see how it goes. Let's see what the difference is. Spacebar. It's beautiful. A really, really good looking game. What's the tab? Okay. It's showing me how to play the game. I might switch to a controller here in a second. Let's switch to a controller and see what happens. That's okay. What am I doing? I'm climbing down? Is that the. Oh, do I want to climb down right now? I guess so. That's really the only place to go. I have not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Is this. Me narrating this as an old man? Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Okay. Oh. Is that a mattress? Those lost All right, we got you. the treasure I was after. There's no uh, escaping out of it. Do I have a mustache? No, it's just my upper lip. Well then. Ding ding. There's no going back. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. Can we jump? All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, the in the old version, in the old game, the very first one, there was like a puzzle that you had to spell Rumpelstiltskin backwards two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure i would have to turn one and see what happens and uh but the original like they the the game designers they originally you had to spell rumple stilt skin backwards but it was like not actually backwards it, it was it was such a hard puzzle i never would have figured they eventually changed it they they updated it and changed it <laughs> oh, did I just die?
And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. Uh, but since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right <laughs> one. All right. All right. How are you supposed to know? There was no clues. There was no... I hope there's actually puzzles. Why are there beds? All these beds Bodies, are swinging. Bells, butter churns, and beds were jammed in every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. God, his voice sounds so familiar. So you can die in this game. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time to hide <laughs> under the covers. Alright, so they're, they're putting some humor in there. Are these falling lower and lower? Oh, I can't get hit by it. Can I? As ah. I was saying, <clears throat> this was no time to take a nap. I understand. Guy that sounds like... Duck. The doc from. I bet that is him. The doc from. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites. We'll Back to the there, future. Gwendolyn. Don't worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. A duck. I'll have to go back to the time. Where we weren't nestled what the beneath heck? a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was Fabled Mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me the greatest knight in all of Daventry on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... in my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. Okay, so who built all this stuff? Who, who, who thought it was a great idea to put all these beds and bedposts together? I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. All right. That's all that's missing is a handle, and you can't use all the other handles. Can't use the butter churn. <laughs> he just likes jumping in bed. All right. I took a brief <laughs> rest before I decided to adventure on with that very important treasure. I like volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon. Breaking the spirit of hideous beasts. Amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. You can't open any of them. There's no, uh... There's no picking them up. If I do this, it's gonna wake the dragon. Can't I just use one of those sticks? How about this book? Ah, uh, fine. We will wake the dragon. Wake the dragon! Hmm. Ever so, so deftly. So the missing handle was booby trapped. What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. 
<laughs> then I use my cleverness to hide. I smell you. I smell. I smell. I smell. Ducky. You smell me? Luckily, that half blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. What did you use to fix the broken switch? The wooden handle, of course. And now it magically works. Oh, the dragon didn't hear that though, huh? The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. Oh, so the dragon is tied. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. We're trying to get out. He's just blind. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Where did all these beds come from? What did they do in this cave before the dragon was here? But there's somebody. Is that it? Is that a skull? Is that a dead man? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get through past that without dying from all the spikes. Which doesn't seem to be that hard. Fifteen men on a dead man's bed. Was he blinded? He's a blind in one eye. Gotcha. Alright, so I can walk around these ones. through the tulips what the heck fine we'll go to back to hiding <laughs> this dragon would be like what the heck I wonder if he breathes fire he's got to breathe fire right Otherwise, he wouldn't be a scary dragon. Do we go closer to him first? Just to see what happens? Just to see what happens. Let's do it. Nope, nope. Yep, we're eaten. Yeah! <laughs> That's what would have happened if I hadn't been Marched such a... Right into a ferocious dragon's mouth. I was just making sure he was still paying attention. Oh, that's that's pretty cute. How they're doing that. How they're dealing with the deaths. The the animation is gorgeous. Alright. 
Oh, I can't run through it. They're making me tiptoe through it. Run! <laughs> His feet are sticking out. How did he know when the when he went back to sleep? <laughs> All right. Oh, there's nothing to search for over there. You just gotta climb up the ladder. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. So are we trying to free the dragon? If we free the dragon to get the mirror, is that a smart? Is that what a smart person would do? Guy brush three wood. Maybe. His long lost brother. We got one shot, brother. One shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yeah. Isn't that your arrow? Okay. So I'm trying to hit that, right? Guess it doesn't matter. I don't have to be exactly on. Once again, the dragon did not wake up. He wakes up when I crunch on some bones, but not when I make this big blah 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 sound. I have to walk on certain parts. Uh -uh, I just have to deal with it. Okay. The mirror called out to me. That's that's because you're insane if you're hearing the mirror talk to you. Did it say, I'm a shiny? Alright, what do I do here? If I do that, that wakes up the dragon. Let's climb up here first. See what's up here. Nothing. If I pull that, I can't, it won't let me look around. That's an annoying part. Like it, it won't let me look around to see what I'm trying to accomplish here. So like, let's do this first. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Okay. Then I. Ring the bell to get him to eat. That meat is, there's no way that meat's still good. Look at you. This poor dragon, I feel bad for this dragon. Alright, so now what do I do? Can't go over here. So I ring the bell again. Where do I go? Alright, let's try ringing the bell first. Wake up. <clears throat> not happy. Oh. Try it again. So now he's got to walk away from the mirror. <laughs> and while he's doing that, I guess I...
get on. Oh, shoot. Ah, I gotta move faster. That's what I gotta do. That's all, that's all I gotta do is move faster. Okay. Let's try again. I wonder how much meat is there. How do they? That's just nasty. It's just nasty. Who keeps waking me up? <laughs> Run! Put it in your pocket. Hmm, it's the magic mirror. What? Yeah, that's what I thought. Put it in his pocket. <laughs> All right. Whoa. 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 Come on now. No. Keep going! Keep going! You're right there! You're right there! Son of a biscuit. Alright, am I controlling this or is this just happening? What am I shooting? Okay. I'm gonna use the mouse and keyboard for this part. the dragon he's going for me he's reaching for me did I not do it I didn't do it are you serious whatever I was rocking it oh, I gotta keep hitting it I gotta keep hitting it that's the problem See? oh <laughs> My mouth wash back on the shelf, please. Now, where was I? All right, B B B B B B. B B B B. X. A. All right. Oh crap. Jumping. Can't make up my mind what I like better, the mouse and keyboard or, or the or the controller. I'm surfing on a bedspread. On a mattress. There you go. Nice. You know, for such a goofy guy. <laughs> He's right behind you! Aww. Poor dragon. You know, he didn't have enough meat, I guess. And why are there all these beds? I just, I don't get the bed thing. Is he escaping? Is he throwing fire? I just see a big ol' cloud of smoke coming behind me. Can I use the mirror? 
No. With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of a daventry I would be rewarded with. Daventry? And a kingdom it could become. Is that his boyfriend? Daventry? It had a capital D. I've never heard the word daventry before. Have you? Ding, ding. Aww. He forgot about that. What? In what? that split second, I had three choices in front of me. All right. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. Three choices. Let's try this one. Uh. <laughs> I just let him free? Rippling consequences straight from the beginning. Hmm. I don't think that was the best of the choices. What do y'all think? My hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope. But with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Oh, it's a little girl. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now. Can we get back to that so the dragon? king made you king. There is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams are many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. The dragon! Tell me everything. Like... Why did you set the dragon free, even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal. Oh, Daventry is the country. Any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home, <laughs> but only to my stuff buddies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. I don't remember what the magic fruit does. That's a reference to the old game, I'm sure. A dragon! A dragon! I swear I saw a dragon! That's a... Uh... Peach Dragon, the old, 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 old Disney Peach Dragon. I have not seen the new one yet. You're free. Who's free? Roar. Roar. This feels scary. Well, hello, cousin. Guard! <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I wonder if I'd ring the I'm bell. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. How have that would have changed the story. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. 
grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, uh, yes, tournament. the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and we'll make sure you have the very best <laughs> seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, we're actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Mm, nope. Now I'm hungry. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. Oh, I really? see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Is it still nighttime? Is she supposed to be in bed? Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Yeah, it's morning. Th oh my goodness, that's his. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. Oh my goodness. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now let's talk about far more important issues, like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. That's right. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Hmm. A deft maneuver. Deftly maneuver in muscle for rank. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. A quick-witted distraction. An act of kindness even in victory. Hmm. Which shall we pick? Let's do a quick-witted distraction. Thinking of a problem in a different way. Finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. I wonder if that affects the story. I was a much younger lad before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. No. -uh. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. What am I riding on? Did I just jump down the? I just fell down a cliff. Wow. Wow. Yep, I'd be dead. Yep, that's how Bonnie, or that's how uh, Sonny Bono. Oh, I can control this. Oh. Is are the trees supposed to break my fall? Or am I supposed to go in between them? <laughs> All right. Into the mud puddle. After gracefully Without repelling triumph. down the cliff, I welcome the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. Hmm. I have five gold pieces. Do I want to go up? Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous, fantastical, floating island. Alright, so if the game wants me to go right, let's try going left first. Where's my triumph gerbil? Grandpa! Come on now. You can't leave triumph! Right? Don't worry, Triumph can fend for himself. We've been through our share of sticky situations, but he always comes around when I need him most. Fine. We will leave Triumph, the Wonder Dog, gerbil, horse, thingy. 
Triumph, triumph. We don't even know what the heck it is. But we will pretend. It's the Third Reich. That looks like a mix between a dog and the flying dog from... Oh, the flying dog from the never-ending story. He looks like he's wearing two cups on his head. Two horn cups, like Vikings drink out of. I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes at Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> that odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. You have to make your lips go... How many times can I blow on it? The horn was broken, but that didn't stop me from blowing on it. That's right. You keep blowing that horn. God, the game is its just gorgeous. The visuals. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. I don't see tracks. What tracks is he talking about? Bunny! Bunny like thingy? Are the tracks, or are they just, does he just mean something trampled all the trees? The dragon is back. What is this? How do I get to that thing in the tree? Right, nothing yet. Squirrel. Let's go back. Do I want to go that way right now? What happens over here? Oh, I saw something shiny. Or is it just the water? far will let me go. There's nothing over here. Alright, so I do gotta climb. Froggy! Catch the froggy! Nope, there's no way to go that way. Make it. Make it. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Hmm, I wonder if there's multiple ways to solve the puzzles. Is there something I could pick up over there? No, just look at it. I can just look at look at the wheel. We're following this big at big ol' something. Oh. oh, it's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like... Oh! That was What's racist. Your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a... Oh, or a... Oh, oh. <laughs> Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh. Here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits. <clears throat> biscuits, Well, eh? now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material. Hey. Whoa. Hmm? I knew you weren't from around here. Well, 
You best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait. You're stuck here with me. Every virgin is out. And my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaped straight out of the water. Wow. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, what? I'll bet a fine <laughs> strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? He's like the Deadpool of, uh... Of this game. A game never shuts up. Nope. Uh, nope. Alright, so now, do I go back and get the wheel? Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns! Uh... uh unicorns? Uh, isn't that a bit of string right there? Da, 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 I said back away! Seriously, my boy, they aren't gonna pull this chariot without a wheel! Perhaps it was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. What? How did you get across that river? Can't swim. All right, buddy. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Anything big and round. Just a little oop here, a little elbow grease there, and Darg nabs it. I'm gonna start using that in everyday language. Darg nabs it. Is that what was? The wheel was very broken. I would have to find another solution. His cart was what was causing all that. All those trees to be down. Can't blow the horn. And I can't cross the bridge. I wondered what those birds needed a toolbox for. What? For real? No. Are you serious? Shame. The only tool left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. But I did! Okay, so now... There was no reason to chop down that perfectly good tree. Hmm. Do I have to go back up? Was there anything back here? I don't know. If, should I? Do I need to go all the way back to the beginning? That's a long way, uh, honestly. Hi ho, hi ho. You look so determined. Shouldn't must uh, I'll use it on the bunny. Can I use I can't use it on the bunny. I was gonna axe the bunny. I was going to ask him if he knew what I was doing, what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> All right, so I am basically back at the beginning. Let's see here. Can't ask that. Can I ask? Seems like a waste of money. Realizing a lot of people probably <laughs> put their mouth on that horn, I was disgusted. I slowly backed away and never blew that horn again. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? All right, keep walking into that wall. All right. 
Twitch. Watch this. I will blow on that horn. Watch me. Watch me. Watch me. Truth is, I didn't care about the germs. It was fun. <laughs> I'm getting a little lightheaded. So I can't use the Seems axe. Seems like a waste of money. I can't use the axe. I bet I just had, I bet it was just something I needed to go right back to the uh No, can't do that. Can we play in the mud puddle. No. I probably just had to go After right all back that to his graceful repelling. I was certainly not headed back that way. All right, we will just go back to his cart. <laughs> we will make our own music. Bra, bra, dun 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 dun. Bra, bra, dun 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 dun. Bunny, die, bunny, bunny. It is not the killer rabbit of Monty Python fame. Oh, what are those two bunnies doing? Hey, two bunnies. There's about to be a hundred more bunnies. Look at them bunnies. We're going to leave those two little bunnies. Going to give them some privacy. We don't say privacy here. We say privacy. We're watching a lot of British shows right now, so we say privacy. Okay, let's jump back across. Whoa, what was that? Can I use? Seems like a waste of money. The wheel was already broken. <laughs> no sense rubbing it in. There's no running. This is the speed he goes. I'm gonna use the axe on this tree. Oh, we're gonna chop down this tree. That's all we had to do. Seems like a waste of money. No, we're not using the money. That was the wow. He's strong. Can I use the axe? I want to use the axe on the on the goats. Get that blade away from <laughs> the unicorns! I'm warning you. Give them, let's give them some money. My unicorns have little use for such material things. I, on the other hand, am happy to earn your life savings. Fine. What do you want the money for? Hang on to those, boy. I'd like to earn your money honestly. Let's try the X. What? What happened to the rest of my tools? My wheel mending kit was in that toolbox. You expect me to fix this wheel with only a hatchet? Hatchets are for destroying, not for fixing. What kind of game are you playing here, boy? Oh, I know. Maybe I could use this blade to chisel a wheel out of driftwood. Or perhaps I could cut down a rubber tree plant and weave myself a wheel. You are not going to last three seconds in that tournament with that kind of stupid dream logic. Tell you what, you can keep my hatchet, but please bring me a real <laughs> solution. You know, like a wheel, big, round, rolling, a wheel that goes here, like those. Alrighty then. Let's go find him a wheel. That missing wheel had me stumped. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. <laughs> Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. They're What's my favorite. The matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? <laughs> You'll warm up to the puns. Uh, what are you talking about, girl? You don't know what you're talking about. Your grandpa is a genius. A genius, I say! Ooh, scary eye looking thingies. Here, kitty, kitty, <laughs> not a kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty. Oh, here we go. No, I did not use the hatchet to scare that growling animal. 
Why not? How about this growling animal? Animal. Hmm. No wheels in there. Oh, here we go. Uh, no, I did no. not use the hatchet to scare no. the animal. I want to make that that sound. Whenever I do something wrong on my computer, it's gonna be like no. I'm gonna clip it. No. So I could totally use the hatchet on that. How far will it let me go before? Ah, I don't want to go all the way around there and have to come back. Let's just do it here while we're here. An overgrown look at it. patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. I tried to chop down those thorn weeds, but my tiny hatchet was ineffective. I would need a bigger, sharper blade. It was effective on the tree, mind you. Three strokes and it's down. Ah, the video game logic. Ooh, where are we now? Hello. Hello. <laughs> What are those claw marks? And then you chopped down that door, found a wheel, and headed for the tournament. No, Gwendolyn. Just because I had a hatchet didn't mean I went around using it on everything. It's not that type of story. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like a waste of money. Oh, look at this. You can climb up these. This wall is for protecting. And the archer shot him down. The town square was eerily quiet. Was I the only person in Daventry not at the parade? Apparently. And now you can leave. But we don't want to. That could be a wheel. We're just going to walk into people's houses and take things, aren't we? Oh my gosh. A bakery. And it smelled delicious. That sign was asking for tips, and there was a metal pan to collect coins. Only if we eat. The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. Uh, I'm gonna have to give him money for nothing, huh? Money for nothing and your chicks for free. Everything reminds me of a song. We could use that bread as a wheel. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't see any reason why that stale bread wouldn't work for a wheel. All right, now do I leave a tip? That is the question here. I decided to leave some coins for the bread. Aww. Because we're such a good future king. The once and future king. Uh, you can't really just search around. You I stumbled upon some kind of curiosity shop. Against the knickknacks was a little collection tray with a sign asking for tips. Nothing seemed to be brewing yet. I thought these potions, herbs, and other magical sundries were best observed from afar. I didn't need to borrow more than one wheel. Oh, okay. So I've already got everything I need. Wonder if it I wonder I mean I bet everything changes the story. I bet if you shoot the the bell instead of the the wheel at the first thing and free the dragon, 
Like me, this little tree was new in town and needed some time to grow and find its way. What? Too sappy? <laughs> uh, oh, Grandpa. You You'll warm up to it. Yeah, I bet... I bet you, uh... Depending I on where... I some marshmallows. What I wheel you decide I to take? some marshmallows. Like a blacksmith shop of swords. Probably could have used that shield as a wheel. I borrowed enough for the day. Hmm. Okay. I wanted that sword though. That sword looks awesome. I wonder if I can put the bread back. Hello, can I squeeze by you gents? No, we are here to guard the town entrance and keep out any riffraff whilst everyone is watching the parade. If we were to leave, rapscallions would run amok in the empty shops. Back away, boy. We're on the lookout for intruders. Yeah. Shh. All right, let's go give the wheel to Mr. Crazy Pants. Dun, 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 dun. We're off to see Sir Robin. Whoa! Ah, a shortcut. Bravely was Sir Robin. Something about Sir Robin of Camelot. He was not afraid to die. No brave Sir Robin. He was not afraid to be killed in nasty ways. Brave, 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 Do Sir I Robin. Do really have to hear the story about how you took forever to tiptoe across that fallen tree again? No, I guess not. Find me a wheel, boy. Anything big and round should do the trick. Hang on to those, boy. I'd like to earn your money uh, honestly. All right. Come on now. I thought this might do the trick. A bread wheel. Mm, lovely choice, boy. And thank the Yarble Snoops, this bread is beyond stale. Hopefully it didn't pay too much. You have a face that just screams overcharge. Mm. I've got just the fix for that, too. But we have important tournament business to tend to, and I think this will do the trick. Ooh, I'll just need to start locking my unicorns up at night. Mr. Fancy Cakes has a nibbling problem. All right, off we go. Oh, wait, before my mind slips, I was able to procure an entrance ticket to the tournament. Since you so graciously found me a wheel, I am more than willing to sell it to you at a reasonably discounted rate. Are you interested? Sounds like a deal. Oh, sounds good. I love a deal. <laughs> so do I, boy. So do I. If I see one, I'll let you know. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Now, let's vamanoose from this meadowland, Mr. Fancy Cakes. It is go time. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Just left me hanging. Nobody. Mr. Fancy Cakes! Oh, heel! Halt! Abyss! Stop! Stop! We sincerely hope you enjoyed your stay in our luxury cabin. Please gather your belongings and watch Oh, I was in there? Th th thanks for the hospitality. No time to lounge, my boy! Lucky for you, the parade is halted. Another case of a mysterious missing bridge, I imagine. Watch your step! We wouldn't want any tears in that illustrious cape! Bon voyage, buttercup! Don't forget about us working folk. Especially when your pockets are full of riches. Hmm. Why do we love stereotypes? The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. What situation are we talking about? Back away, back away. This area is unsafe for commoners. Hello. Uh, apologies, I'm late. Uh, I should be on the list. First name Graham, last name... The list, Cracker. unfortunately, is inside the theater, which is across that bridge, which is inexplicably missing. We've ordered a temporary fix, but we're still sorting out the work order. Well, with all the recent budget issues, I remain skeptical about the repairs. Well, can't those knights check the list? Do you mean Kyle and Larry? <laughs> They're off duty. Don't ask. You needn't worry. 
These night hopefuls will figure out a solution soon, and then we can carry on with the auditions. Well, but I am a hopeful knight. If you just step aside, I'm confident that I could find a way across. Ahem. <laughs> Daventry Decree 6645 states that a royal guard, once commanded, must never, under no circumstances, abandon his post while on duty. Well, technically, Addendum 237A allows us to leave if someone is in distress and in need of assistance. Of a life or death nature. I stand corrected. And we wouldn't want a repeat of the Rubenstern fiasco. A tardy auditionee, however, hardly counts for distress. Sorry, but we can't leave our post. King's orders. Hmm. So we just have to find somebody. Would an entrance ticket prove my worth? Sorry, but the collection of entrance tickets will take place uh. inside the theater. All right. Let's... And then you cut down that rope, knock those guards into the river, and use your battle axe to score a victory at the tournament. Not that type of story. Let's see if they'll take a bribe. Bribes don't work on us. So yeah. they knew what I they they could tell I was trying to bribe them. Was I that obvious? Oh, there's a beehive. That's not gonna be a fun part of the story. Come at me, bees! Hmm. And then you chop down the tree full of angry bees? Enough, Gwendolyn. Hmm. We can't even pick that up. So we can jump across here. They might come save me. That's probably what we gotta do. Let's jump in the water since I can't swim. Remember? We said Stay we can't swim. Those rocks. It's dangerous. Oh no! Oh no! Distress! <laughs> Abandoned post! <laughs> Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. I believe he was talking to me. Nope, this tired argument is getting on my nerves. No need to argue about the fact that I am... Uh-oh. Uh oh, dear. Oh, dear. Not good. Bees! Bees! Oh, could bees! you imagine? Bees getting inside your armor. Oh. All right. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. He's got two cups for horns. But he likes to he likes to bash on trees. What's he got against trees? Apparently this Oh, we're going to give it to Mr. Mr. Big Cups. Who do you think you are? Well. Uh. Over here, buddy. So, so far. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That bastard. That dirty, rotten. Well, he was quite the jerk. <laughs> Am I right? Uprooting a tree. How heroic. <laughs> this doesn't have a mouthpiece either, huh? Another horn and another missing piece. We can just... Climb across, I'm sure. The, tr the tree that was uprooted. Come on, anybody can do that. What? Let's shoot him. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do we do? What do you want to do? Uh, would it be more fun to shoot him or the tree? Oh, uh, you can't shoot him. What was that? I now have a rope. Alright. We couldn't shoot him in the face anyway. Pardon me. What? Oof. Oh, really? Really? That's not good. I've been squished. I just got squished. All right. <laughs> the tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. All right. I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Really? Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoying. Huh? Okay. Oh. Oh my god. I see what we gotta do now. We gotta tie them together. These puzzles are not half as hard as the ones from the original game. The original games. Like at all. He uses his hat. Somebody gonna try to stop us? What is he walking on? The rocks. He's just walking through the rocks. That's all we had to do was walk across. Hang on a sec. Graham, right? Graham yes. Cracker. Um, how did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Oh, uh, he's Thanks. got the voice of the I guy. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I can really use a friend. They call me Will you be my Manny. friend? Pleased to meet you. So, friend, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn-flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> Green. I prefer pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. His voice, he's the, uh, there's a movie called The Let Princess you know Bride. I can help. Highly, highly recommend the movie The Princess Bride. And, um, he is, uh, he's the voice of the guy. He's like, inconceivable. It's inconceivable. And then Andre the Giant's like, I do not think you know that, what that, I don't think that word means what you think it means. Such a good movie. Highly recommend it. Please, go try it. Go watch it. Stop this right now and go watch that movie. I'm going to pause it for a second. And we're back. 
Let's see here. Let's continue. That guy shimmied up. I bet I could climb up those. I want to see if I can shimmy. What happens when I want to shimmy? He's too tall for the shimmying. Eh. <laughs> Broke his nose. His big old white boy nose. My wife says my big old white boy nose is cute. That's what she says. Can we blow this horn? Uh, nope. Yet another, another horn. horn. And another missing piece. I wonder if we get a mouthpiece that we can carry around with us. Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Graham Cracker, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. Yay. I am very, very terribly sorry. But we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. <laughs> the tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting to know you type exercises. You know. An icebreaker, before we start in on the usual death, destruction, and duels of a cutthroat nature. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a make-up chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. Hmm. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Oh, let's see here. I didn't hear about the date change. My mom wouldn't let me leave before I finished breakfast. I don't know what extenuating means. Let's do that one. I, um, don't know what the term extenuating means. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in <laughs> dim-witted. Now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. All right, we have to learn about them. Awkward. Look at his awkward trotting. I don't want to talk to him yet. He's my buddy. Let's talk to Mr. Big Boy. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really, it gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those nights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Leave me be, little fly. <laughs> You don't want to wake the bull. Look, I, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Well, make it quick. Then buzz off. Hmm. What were you holding in your hand? What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. What's he talking about? Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Leave it alone, string bean. All right, he's just going to repeat it. I'm Graham. Graham Cracker. No. It is Graham Cracker. No last names. I don't even want your first name. <laughs> it and is Graham Cracker. your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference. Uh... I'm currently in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You... Should call me Acorn. Not Sir Acorn. I'll leave you be. Go away. Okay, let's. Lost. Can if we I talk tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. I didn't have much time. Then. A sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. 
If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only <laughs> action. I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. Grah! Grah! Whoa, I told hey. out in pain as I heard its body crash it got to the kicked in the face. Treasure in hand. I escaped and adventured onward. Oh, how delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. The flames danced right before my eyes. I couldn't go anywhere. They had me surrounded. I watched the flames grow, each ember reaching closer to my face. Then I knew there was a way out. I blew as hard as I could, countering that incendiary torture device and extinguishing each and every flame. The horde inched toward me, their cults like call ringing through my ears. I leapt up and kicked one square in the throat, <laughs> silencing his off pitched blathering. The others, I wonder how long this goes sight, for, silenced themselves and bowed down to the hero you see standing in front of you. What a happy adventure! It seems I tell this legend every year. Oh, how can I be you? There was no looking <laughs> past him. Every corner of my periphery, All right. he was there. Hey there, I'm Graham. Yeah, let's Charmed, interrupt this. I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg, it's Graham. And uh, Graham of course Kaka. I know who you are. You're... You're... Hmm. Every woman's dream... Sir Ten of himself. Going to have to wait, I'll be right back. The jerk who pushed me into the river. Um... Let's see here, do we be funny? Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? <laughs> it's not Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... You are... You're... That jerk who pushed me into the river. Oh, yes, that mm -hmm. silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, Centurion. my mother gave me that feather. I might be silly, but you're... You're... Sir... Ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky. <laughs> but now you're starting to bother me, Grant. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... I'm gonna have going to wait. Going to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. That's right. Avamata. <laughs> Shreki, Alpha Mata. Shreki Maka Maka Dunga Wakaka. Why does it sound funny? Hornswoggle. Naga Naga. Hornswoggle. Maka Maka. Ekairis Ki. Maka Maka Maka. Maka. Hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. I do, actually. What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength competition. I shouldn't be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. Okay. If a weirdo does that, imagine what else he's hiding under there. Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. 
Okay. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Inconceivable. However, these silly puns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself. Go mm -hmm. meet everyone, then come talk to me. I've got a few tips to share. What can you tell me about Sir Ver Averos? <laughs> That's funny, but you're not going to pass your chivalry test if you don't know anyone's name. Get to know thine enemies, Graham. Then we can chat strategy. Exposing their weaknesses will be the only way to win. Sound good? Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Hello. My name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Ah, Chaka. Ah, Chaka. What's that, uh... There's a, uh, Dark Darkon, or Dark... Oh, what is that Star Trek episode where, uh, he's like, When the Walls Fell. What is that called? What was his name? So, where do you hail from? Achaka. Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. So, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Achaka. Achaka. Nice, nice. I prefer the hand whittled sapling arrows myself. Want to partner up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. <laughs> Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Let's see here. What's out here? Back it up! Back it up! Hmm. Let's see here. Let's get back to this guy. Achaka. Darmok and Jalad. When the walls fell. So, where do you hail from? Achaka. Achaka. I see. Sounds exotic. All right. Good chat. So, I'm going to get back to the ship and test. some other things. So, uh... Acorn. Maybe I need an acorn. Maybe. Let's see if we can. He looks like a pawn. 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 No, I don't want to talk to him yet. He might make me start the chivalry test before I've learned anything about any everybody. As hard as I could. The treasure. Yes. Have you remembered my name? Going nope. to have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. So what else do I do? Let's let's try talking to this guy again. What do you want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. I did. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. Mm. This ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would friend. keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. She's a proper lady. What <laughs> else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. That's right. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. A squirrel friend. It's like his girlfriend. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Squirrel friend. The monster unveiled itself. It bared its teeth in a grin. What? Yes. Have you remembered I my have. name? Whisper. Correct. Well, 
Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. <laughs> the third. Hailing brr, from Modesto. Brr, brr. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh, I don't seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Shh. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves <laughs> Whisper. As do, do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. <laughs> I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Whisper. Bob No loves you, Julia. Bob No. Ah, Chaka. That's an old Mad TV reference. All right, so good chat. I'm gonna get back I to the chivalry I wanted to talk to the test. other guy. Yes, Graham. You want some dirt on someone? What can you tell me about Acorn? I can tell you not to mess with those bullhorns in any strength uh, competition. Tell us I shouldn't new. be telling you this, but I heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly. And you can't and skip it. Weirdo you can't skip. The cutscenes, really. It's just it's such a under there. such Neither a modern gaming hoofa. How dare they? Him. We'll need to work How together dare they? And expose his secrets. That's just wrong. What can you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. Uh -huh. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrogant are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Well, I guess we'll have to shine. Sound good? Make something Thanks, very man. shiny. Goodbye. We'll have to extra shine his armor. Are you or ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one: Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? Manny. Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. <laughs> All right. Everybody. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Hmm. Let's see the whisperer Achaka. Achaka. Okay. Moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Hmm. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. I'm sure of it. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Aww. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Welcome, Let's. everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Hmm. Now... Let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here! I got mine right here! I wonder what would happen if I, I hadn't really taken am, that. But that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a 
A sweaty piece of cloth. I guess or it doesn't matter. Probably just a snot rag. <laughs> so I paid a gold for nothing. Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater. Dum -dum -dum -dum, one eye of a hideous beast. And due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Good Thank to you. know. Nothing to see here. <laughs> there are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. The wolf. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, judge go forth and claim thine eyes. Judge. We will judge you. Whisper can do it. Hey now, there's a pretty lady. All right, I think this is a good place to pause it, y'all. If you've been enjoying this, by all means, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. We will be finishing up the episode on the next one. Keep moving forward, y'all.